Shalini Videra, thank you so much for joining us on DBL. Thank you for having me. So I want to know first, what drew you to the cause of teaching marginalized women the beauty of this industry and the ways of the beauty industry? I've been in beauty for so long. And in 2017, I ended up receiving the Mahatma Gandhi Award for my work in leadership and women empowerment. And soon after, the government officials in India called me up and said, look, we really need your help to help the girls here in India be as confident and you know have the ability to thrive in their life. Can you help them? And I thought the best way to do that was through beauty which is a universal language around the world and you know something that we can skill and train these girls in to give them a better future. Talk to me about Ready, Set, Jet. How does this empower women through beauty? This is my um, third brand I've created. It's really fun. It's, you know, kind of the Marie Kondo of beauty. You've got these, you know, products that you can customize. So the idea is to have a brand that scales globally with the proceeds going into the Ready, Set, Jet Academy. And that's where we go into these disenfranchised communities and we get to work with these girls that have never been to school in their life and have really no access to education after the age of 15. And now given everything that's happening with COVID and what's happening here in the US, we're actually extending the academy to an online version for women everywhere to have the ability to learn a new skill and start earning money. That's amazing. It turns, you know, somebody's vision into actual practice. So can you tell me about the type of women that you guys work with? Yeah, so I was actually in India um, in January and February, right before lockdown, and I had the incredible privilege and opportunity to go into some of the slums and work with girls from the age of 12 to 20 to give them this you know, opportunity to work in beauty, learn entrepreneurship, have a vocation that's certified, they can work anywhere in the world, and then the ability to start you know, breaking that cycle of poverty is just really fantastic. Now, I know you're teaching these women to be, you know, the beauty experts of the world, but what tips can we regular folks use in order to stay beautiful? Well, you know what? It's funny. I spent two years writing um, my book, Passport to Beauty, where I traveled all over the world and I got all these amazing beauty secrets. And there's never been a better time than being, you know, stuck at home to do these because a lot of them start with food. So, you know, one of my favorite secrets is for really hard nails, just chopping up some fresh garlic and adding it to a bottle of clear nail polish, letting it stew for about seven days, gives you harder than acrylic nails. It's a beauty secret of the Dominican Republic. You know what? I'm trying the garlic thing on my nails tonight. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> so how has the beauty industry evolved to be more inclusive and involved with global causes? You know, America's like literally the greatest melting pot in the world. And we've got new skin tones being born minute by minute. How do we cater to these clients? And you're starting to see, you know, shade ranges become much more um, wide with an array of colors for all skin tones. And also gender fluid beauty has become really big. And I love the fact that we're being inclusive to LGBTQ and really for anyone that wants to be and play in beauty. At the end of the day, it's all about self-care. Right. Shalini Videra, thank you so much for joining us. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. We'll be right back.